chocolate. What? What is he selling? He's selling chocolate. When I think of you, I know the feeling. Devil lights in this hat for the weekend. I'm the only one you want. I'm the only one you want. Hi guys, it's Brie, aka Smartista Beauty, and I am here with this makeup that was literally inspired by I went to the grocery store because I think Starbucks was getting too much love for me <laughs> recently and I like that I well this is not sponsored or anything but I, I went to the grocery store and picked up my favorite Starbucks drink which is the peppermint mocha and they have them in like these big jug thingies so then I just got to thinking and I was like hmm peppermint mocha makeup chocolate makeup um, and I've been getting a lot of compliments on this makeup while out today so I hope you guys enjoy and if you're really feeling my channel please hit that subscribe button below so you can get updated whenever I post a new video and just stay hip to the Sabista gang all right so let's get started hey guys so on my Twitter I asked you guys if I should try out ABH dip brow and I decided to give it a try and I love it um, I meant to get espresso but I got the darkest one by accident so this is like granite or something then I'm taking this NYX conceal and contour correcting color correcting palette and I'm taking the lightest concealer in the palette and I'm using that to sculpt my brows these are so opaque they're just this is a great little concealer palette you guys and I don't know why watching me sculpt my brows is kind of satisfying to watch because something about brows being on point even if you have no makeup on just sets the tone of your face. I'm taking my Laura Mercier Radiance Bronze Primer. This stuff is golden. Literally is just an amazing primer. I might do a dupes video soon because a lot of these products I do have really good dupes for. And um, if you guys are interested, let me know. Then I'm revisiting my NARS, um, what is this? Not Sheer Glow. All Day Luminous Weightless something. Yeah, the newest NARS foundation. I love this foundation. I don't know why I stopped using it. And then I'm taking this MAC concealer in NC42 and I'm just blending that out under my eyes and then I'm going to take another favorite this is the Ruby Kisses cream contour palette super cheap super effective <laughs> and I'm taking these two dark shades and I'm just uh, you know giving my face some warmth after the foundation and what have you again this is not a natural look you guys this is <laughs> you know full-on glam and if you want a natural look, I'm going to have one coming out tomorrow. But um, yeah, this is this is definitely for that hardcore glam. We're going in. And then I'm going to blend that out. It blends out really, really well. And after I blend everything, I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush and my Laura Mercier powder. And I'm just going to set everything. Set it very, very well. Then I'm going in with another favorite. You can find this at Target. It is the Black Radiance uh, True Complexion Contour Kit. And I'm using the contour shade. Look at how much pigment that gives. It is amazing. I've been reaching for this almost every time I do my makeup. Um, beautiful finish and I'm just using that to warm up my face then I'm using the sculpt shade which adds a little more of an orange tone or a warm tone brown on top of the contour um, and that's what makes it look super natural you'll see once I set my face uh, how that goes and then I'm just doing a slight nose contour to warm it up uh, bring out that chiseled nose def <laughs> bring out my nose definition gosh and then I'm using this black radiance toasted almond blush on women of color guys this is amazing like it really looks good on our skin tone then a lot of you guys have been asking about my highlighter it's not a highlighter it's actually an eyeshadow and it's so cheap it's um, from Kiko Cosmetics shade 208 and I love this because it's got a more champagne -y gold tone. Again, women of color, it's not going to look silver or ashy on us, so it's <laughs> the bomb.com. And I just blend that in. Then I'm using this MAC Fix Plus all over my face to set everything in. Y'all know I'm extra, so I'm using a fan to dry it. <laughs> then I'm taking um, some more concealer from that NYX palette. It's the yellow shade, and I'm using it to prime my eyes. Then I'm just blending it in with my finger. Uh, the Your body heat kind of warms up these concealers and makes them blend well. If you followed my Halloween videos, you know I customized this little palette at Ulta from Buxom. I'm using the orange shade. It's super pigmented 
pigmented and I'm using that as a transition color in my crease or right above it. Then I'm using this Kiko Cosmetic Shadow. Um, it came off more black. I thought it was going to be brown. So I ended up going back into my contour kit and using that brown contour shade on top of this. Those two layered together created the perfect deep brown color. And um, yeah, so I, I definitely like the turnout after that. Um, the Lorac Unzipped Gold Palette would have been a perfect brown, I'm thinking in retrospect. <laughs> then I'm using this ColourPop eyeshadow in 8-track, and this is a beautiful, like, metallic stone color. It is gorgeous, and I think I zoomed in on it so you guys could really, really see how pigmented and beautiful this is. Um, and it really complements the brown on the lid. And then I'm taking this NYX Glitter, and it's in a stone shade as well, and they're glitter glue to prime and I showed a close up of how beautiful this glitter is. I've been dying to use this and uh, this was the perfect look to try it out with. And I like how it kind of has this silver reflect to it but it's got like, I don't know, it's just beautiful. Like this is what it looks like you guys. And then I revisited my Tarte um, liner <laughs> because if you follow me on Twitter also you will know the story behind why I had to stop using it for a moment. Um, the tragedy that happened with my makeup, but I still love it. It's amazing. Then I'm taking a brown on my lower lid and um, using my CoverGirl So Lashy Mascara on my lower and upper lashes. Off camera, I threw on these mink lashes from the brand Eyelore, and that can be found at Ulta. They're $9.00. And then I used this NYX Liquid Suede Matte Lip, and then on top of it, I found finally some LA Splash Liquid Lip, so that's in the shade, uh, I believe, Sculpt. And this gives that brown, this like beautiful cinnamon, like warm tone to it, and I really love this combination, guys. It just, oh, it's so beautiful for fall and winter, and that's it. All right, thank you guys for watching this video. If you made it to the end, you're the real MVP. And uh, I just want to remind you that, uh, you know, holiday season is getting real. I might or might not be having a massive giveaway that I've been planning for months for you guys in store. So definitely stay tuned to my channel and please subscribe because you don't want to miss this giveaway I'm about to do. And if you are, you know, more of a fan of natural looks, you're going to see a super natural look. I'm dropping that at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Stay tuned for your girl. All right. Love you guys. Bye.